don't forget to smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, click that subscribe button. Trust us, it'll be worth it. Thank you. What is up everyone, I'm Chris Knight and you are watching The Real Review 3000 here, finishing up our DC Fandom Week for The Real Review 3000. And before we get to that, guys, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button, smash the like button, and hit that bell so you know when we're coming out with new stuff, considering helping us out with a PayPal donation. And you can reach us on Twitter at ChrisKnight5150. You can reach me on email, ChrisKnight at the Real Review 3000 or on Instagram, Facebook. We have a Patreon page. All of those links can be found down in the description box below. Let's get to this and let's get down to business right now. Gotham Knights, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna watch the game trailer for Gotham Knights. Now, Gotham Knights is an upcoming action role-playing video game based on the DC Comics characters, Batman and his uh, supporting cast. It is developed by Warner Brothers Games Montreal, set to be released in 2021 on Windows, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X. Now, it says that the game is set in Gotham City after the death of Bruce Wayne, Batman, and that of police commissioner James Gordon, which has resulted in a rise of crime and lawlessness. Players assume the role of Batman's former protégés Dick Grayson, Nightwing, Barbara Gordon, Batgirl, Tim Drake, Robin, and Jason Todd, Red Hood, as they attempt to continue his legacy by protecting Gotham upon receiving a pre-recorded message from Batman. During the game, the heroes encounter several supervillains, including the Court of Owls, Mr. Freeze. Supporting characters include Bruce, Bruce's former butler, Alfred Pennyworth, and police captain, Renee Montoya, one of the few honest cops left in the city. Now, it said in the uh, wiki that I looked up, it says, despite Warner Brothers Games Montreal previously developing Batman Arkham Origins, and Gotham Knights featuring many of the same characters from Batman Arkham series. Go Gotham Knights is an original story not connected to the Arkham games. So other than the one we looked at yesterday, which I think they said was kind of attached, uh, the Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League, they said was attached to that series. This one they say is not. So let's go over to the reaction screen. <clears throat> let's get our headset on. And let's see what this turns out to be like in three, two, one, reaction. <clears throat> in breaking news, we've received reports of an explosion somewhere north of the city. We're still waiting for the police to confirm if there are any victims. This story is evolving rapidly. Please bear with us. We are just really loud. I don't know how I feel about Batman so being dead. Emergency services have confirmed and that they've discovered a body buried Jim Gordon in the being dead, but We're still waiting for further details. For the purpose of the game, we'll play that. <laughs> International news an explosion rocked Gotham City earlier today. Now able to Again, I absolutely love literally all DC games. They are so well thought. The cutscenes work so well together. It's like a movie in and of itself, and you really get immersed. I mean, I played the uh, first Arkham game. And I think I played it for like seven straight hours before I realized I was like, oh my god, <laughs> I've been playing this forever. <clears throat> but they're so well done. Mm. If you're watching this, I'm dead. This is a cold black. This message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. We both know it won't take long for Gotham's criminals to realize the Batman is gone. And you can't count on the GCPD. They haven't trusted us since Jim died. Gotham will need its protectors more than ever. I'm leaving you the Belfry as base of operations. Some of the technology is outdated. But it has the gear you need and all of my files. Interesting. You've always had my back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. I wonder if he's... And goodbye. I wouldn't put it past Bruce Wayne to make this recording and put it out there to make them think they had to do it to see what they were really made of. Maybe that's what happens. Maybe we'll find out that he's still alive. Maybe. But I do like this concept of four playable characters and 
I'm not sure if they're going to make it where you work together in different stages or you can play the whole game as one character, go back and play it again. That'd be cool too. Um, we'll see. <clears throat> Another thing about the Arkham games I really like was the, the playing style, the uh, controls and stuff. Just so immersive, and, and you could fight multiple enemies. I, I think that was something that is missing from a lot of games. <clears throat> this looks good. Looks really good. I love how it says it from Vigilantes to Heroes, because they were always kind of skirting on what Batman did, but sometimes they went a little past what he wanted them to do. But he always worked with them, and they were always still on his side, so I, I like the idea that they were Vigilantes, but now they're going to become heroes. It's a great idea. Man. Ooh. This... Wow. <clears throat> Cool looking. I love the theme. The the Batman theme still back no in the background. No one talks about them. Ooh. I don't know. Have we have we had any of the owls in any of the other games? Not or in, I, I'm not even sure if they. I mean, that'd be an awesome group to put in the movies. But that's kind of. I, I'm looking forward to that. Or if you try to cross them. Then, the town strikes you dead. Mm. Nice. Go figure that I like something that's spelled the same as my last name. That's nice. Uh, Knight. <laughs> Let's go back to the screen here and... Uh, it looks cool. I mean, I, I don't doubt, like I said, I don't know if I've ever seen a bad DC game or a DC property related game. Um, even the old, you know, consoles like Sega and Nintendo, um, when they did a Batman game or something like that. Um, I, I actually, I will say the Superman 64 is pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, but most of the other ones I've played are just freaking awesome. Oh, a lot of just comic book games are really freaking awesome but dc i really like it it has that dark foreboding feel with a lot of them especially the arkham series um and like i said before yesterday with the uh, suicide squad trailer was I, I like the lego games too um but the batman series in general for games is just freaking awesome and this one does it looks awesome too so i'm sure i will go out and get it <laughs> but um let me know what you guys think let me know if you guys are gonna go out and get this let me know if you're excited for this put that down in the comments below again guys don't forget to smash that like button hit the subscribe button hit the bell so you know when we're coming out with new stuff Consider helping us out with the PayPal donation. Reach us on Twitter at ChrisKnight5150. Uh, email ChrisKnight at TheRealReview3000.com. Instagram, Facebook, Patreon, all those links down in the description box below. And with that said, I am Chris Knight. This has been The Real Review 3000. I'm officially out of here. Hey guys, thanks for checking us out. Be sure to subscribe to both channels. And make sure to check out our friends in the fandom minutes. You can find us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and BitChute. And you can also send us an email at sean at seanstackhousereacts.com and chrisknight at therealreview3000.com. And be sure to swing by our Teespring store to pick up some awesome merchandise.